The ham radio call sign, Golf Bravo 8, Charlie Sierra, took to the airways from Ken Village Hall a few weekends ago, when the second Cleveland Scout group once again set up their amateur radio station and took part in the international jamboree of the air. Have you all got the call signs? The larger band makes life a little bit uh, easier, a bit more... Yep, you have. Good. Spread out. Well, let's go and find somebody else, shall we? Yeah. I don't know his name, but it was Switzerland. And it was the um, Geneva Scout Headquarters. Um, very good morning to you, Peter. Name here is Chris, Charlie Hotel Radio India Sierra, uh, and we are located uh, in a small village called Ken, Kilo Echo November, November, which is 10 miles southwest of the city of Bristol, uh, with the second... The scouts are working towards their communications badge, which involves both logging 25 different amateur radio stations and knowing how an amateur radio transmitter works, or by demonstrating knowledge of a more modern approach to communication by using a mobile phone and emailing on a computer. I'm a patrol leader in my group and um, my patrol is called the Falcon. Okay, so hope you copy that okay. And from Golf Bravo Zero, Sierra Papa Sierra, over. Yeah, Papa Sierra, oh. Different one. Wow. Ah. No, they didn't. Where's it gone? Ooh. Hey, can I have one of my scouts just to say hello to you? And one of my scouts just to say hello to you. Say hello, my name is Alex. Say hello, my name is Alex. I'm 13 year olds, have two dogs, one parrot, two fish, and three brothers. What about you? Following an initiative from Transition Clevedon, the North Somerset Council has now published a map showing the many footpaths that wind among the houses, particularly in the southern part of the town. Transition's short-term aim was to concentrate on the cycling provision within Clevedon by looking at existing cycle and footpaths and their signage. The group presented a report to the Clevedon Town Council, who in turn wrote a letter of commendation to North Somerset. Members of the transition group have now taken the maps into all the local schools to encourage children and their parents to use the footpaths more frequently, and hence to cut down on the traffic around the town, especially during school run times. Every school child in Clevedon and adults working in the schools have now received a free map, resulting in over 3,000 being issued. The map is very clear, even when it comes to negotiating around the now boarded up quicksave site, once designated to be the location of our new hospital.
but sometimes the path is not that obvious, like here at the end of Cobley Croft. We are now south of the Tesco's roundabout and the path is clearly signposted at this point. There are several underpasses crossing the major roads in the town. This one goes under Central Way, right next to the Yeomore School. Here you can turn left for the town and the beach, or right for East Clevedon and the community school. Along this short section, cyclists are asked to get off and walk, although the signpost has been removed if you come in the other direction. We are now back in Ken Road this time at the pedestrian crossing by Treefield Road. The old Clevedon to Yatton railway line used to pass this way once. So straight on past the rugby and football pitches for the town, or go left to the swimming pool. Another crossroads, this time it's off for a pint at the Crabchee public house, if you turn left. Otherwise go straight on for that swim in the Strode Road pool. It is thought that these slabs were placed here to accommodate a temporary shop. Who knows? Another of the underpasses, this time under Southern Way. A great place to practice with those new roller skates. Careful now. <laughs> The map is now available from several outlets in the town or from the Clevedon Library in Old Church Road and can be downloaded from Transition Clevedon's website. So please remember, every penny you collect is going to an extremely good cause. Local area organiser of the Royal British Legion's annual uh, poppy appeal, Ray Roberts, rallies his troops in preparation uh, for this year's this bid well, to raise uh, even more than the £21,000 Clevedon raised last year. And uh, so, like I say, I'll do my best. From the last week in October, right up to Remembrance Day itself, on the 11th of November, these collectors will be out in force, raising money to support the Legion's welfare work for the Armed Forces community. A 
The white van, sponsored by North Somerset Council, was conducting an electrical amnesty at various locations around the area during October. This evening they were in the town council car park. We asked them what they were able to accept. Household electrical goods. So any small, uh, small or medium sized household electrical goods that are no longer wanted, either not functioning or just no longer needed, rather than having to transport them to a household waste recycling site, you can just bring them to a local place, drop them off, we'll, and we'll take them off all in one go and take them to a metal recyclers for, as a free service provided by the council. Yes, please. Excellent. Yeah, have those. Thank Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Throughout the day, a steady flow of residents brought in their discarded computers, vacuum cleaners and kettles, enough to fill to the brim the small white van. With responsibilities for maintaining a couple of the toilets in the town now reverting to the town council, workmen have now taken over the chalet toilets on the beach, with a view to renovating them. Their first task was most alarming to some of us when they blocked off the gentleman's entrance. But never fear men, a pay-as-you-go entrance is to be installed around at the other entrance, and access to the men's area will be through there. Meanwhile, the disabled toilets are still open, so all is not lost if you feel the need whilst taking a stroll along the prom this winter. Next on the list for the installation of the pay-as-you-go turnstile will be the toilets in the corner of Queen Square. Work starts there imminently. The condition of the flags of many nations on our seafront was recently discussed at a town council meeting. Members were told that changes needed to be made to the poles before the flags could be replaced. The flags on the main beach promenade were last replaced back in May 2012 using a cherry picker which is said to be very pricey to hire to give access to the flag's fixing points. The North Somerset Council plan to carry out repairs to the poles so that they can be lowered without this expensive piece of equipment and then new flags can be fixed at ground level. the band who has provided Clevedon News with its title music for the last two years, are looking for some new members, particularly if they play a horn or a trombone. Clevedon Brass has been enjoying an excellent summer of events, playing right across North Somerset and Bath.
for All at Christchurch. Art for All is a self-help group that meets every Thursday afternoon during school term times between two and four. We owe our origin to the Christchurch system of small groups where people meet for social or religious studies. Uh, Art for All commenced in January 2010 when I was asked to run an art group for 12 weeks. It is a measure of the group's tenacity that in 2013 we are still going and today we are having our second art exhibition. There are 101 paintings done by the members of the art group and we hope to raise money during this day, Saturday the 19th of October, for Christchurch funds. Overall, the exhibition was a great success, and with the sale of raffle tickets, coffee, tea and light lunches, a total of £350 was raised for church funds. One hundred and ten plates, full of freshly made sandwiches, sausage rolls and crisps, awaiting the guests at this annual Clevedon Lions Harvest Social. At the appointed time, minibuses and private cars started arriving, bringing the guests and their helpers, all eagerly awaiting the chance to meet up with old friends and meet new ones. The guest of honour was our MP, Dr Liam Fox, who, during the afternoon, spent time chatting at most of the tables. <laughs> Councillor Pat McNeil, the Town Council Chairman, was also in attendance, accompanied by his wife Dawn.
Now you can see them, these 110 plates of food, but soon they were gone, enjoyed by all those who tried them. Entertainment for the afternoon was provided by the Lions Club's very own brass band, the training band from the Clevedon-based Lions Brass for Youth. The training band was established in January 2011 with the aim of developing less experienced youngsters to an entry standard for the main Lions Brass for Youth. This was a big moment for these young players as this was their first appearance in public. Their conductor was Abigail Jones and this piece was called Hymn Tune. <laughs> 